Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to C Tutorials. Today we'll be going over string variables, more specifically the declaration of string variables and the properties and logical syntax surrounding them. So I should start off by telling you guys what a string is as far as the compiler is concerned. A string is just a sequence of characters, typically followed by a null terminator. So first, what I'm going to do is to make a comment and just give you the basic structure of a string declaration. And I'll give you some examples as we go to show you how you can declare a string in more than one way. So as we said, they're made of characters. So of course, we're going to need the character keyword to start off. Then we'll need our identifier, identifier. Then we need square brackets, and within our square brackets, we need the maximum size given, and we can optionally give a constant. So, that looks confusing, but I'll give you guys some examples, and it's really not that difficult. Um, so, let's say I want to declare a string called str1 or string1, and all I know is that I want it to have 10 characters and no more All right so we're just telling the compiler here hey compiler we have a string called string one it has 10 spaces that's all you need to know about it that's all I'm giving you so if we if I gave you guys a graphical representation it would look like this just 10 empty spaces right next to each other in memory and so forth so if I were to declare a second string, let's call it string two to keep things simple. And let's say I wanted the maximum number of characters to be 50. So it's quite a bigger string, but I put this there. So, oops. So this style of um, declaring a string we're just telling the compiler, hey, here's the name. It's going to have 50 maximum spaces within it. And the first five are going to be these five characters here. This followed by a period. <clears throat> so we have 45 extra spaces in memory. And I'm not going to draw a representation of that. But it would look really similar to this one, except here we'd have a T... H, I, and S, and then a period. And then these all, would, the rest would be blank. <clears throat> and so if we were to declare a third string, and we just gave it a literal or a string constant, let's put my string. So this third way of doing it, we're basically just giving the compiler the string name. We're not giving it size explicitly, but we are giving it its size. The compiler is smart enough to know that, hey, <clears throat> he didn't give me a size, but what you did give me was a string with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters within it. So the size of string three must be equal to nine, right? So these are all legal ways for declaring a string and it's not too difficult if you just look at it it's pretty simple pretty straightforward 